Right gentlemen, after a week on these four machines, what do we think, where are we at? I'll tell you what, I'll kick off for you Darren, because these machines, they're not massively popular in Ireland yet. Is it something that's growing, getting more traction Yeah, yet? James, the, the predominant thing that you'll find on farms in Ireland for feeding and milking out is tractor front loader still. And going from tractor front loader straight up to your teddy water, so there's no in between. Yeah. I think these kind of really fit the bill for to meet that gap. and. You know, on, on the larger, more intensive dairy farms, they are starting to gain traction. So, machine by machine, then let's uh, let's start with the the blading. Pros and cons. Simplicity. It's a, a machine that, if someone broke on it, you probably could quite easily fix it on the farm. Yeah. It's not something that you need to take to your local dealer or put the laptop in to find out what the problem is. And cons. It's a double-edged sword. You could argue that it's very agricultural or very, you know, kind of primitive, but I mean that has its good things. I mean in comparison to the multi one, if you tip the multi one off a wall you're looking at major panel damage. Whereas the lady could knock the wall. Maybe on to probably it's uh, it's opposite, which would be the uh, Italian uh, multi one. Well the kick is off there down. Well one one feature that stands out straight for me is the hydraulic big coupling. That's super the way you can just slot it in. Turn your lever, job done. There's no relieving pressures, there's no any messing about. The downside? I think, especially for me, the, the biggest downside is just getting getting used to the, the way that it drives, the way that you pivot it in a different place to what is conventional. Right, uh, the Pride of Britain then, the JCB, it's all the way in the corner. Good points, Richard. I mean, especially compared to its predecessor, what we think of it? It's, it's a big improvement over the last machine. It's, one of the biggest things I noticed as soon as I jumped on the machine was how stable it is. Any downsides to it? I, I, I think the, the visibility needs to be addressed a little bit on the front. From the side and the rear, there's no problem with visibility, but just that kind of setup on top is right in your eye line. Yeah. Finally, then the gel, which is a bit of an odd one out, but we thought we'd include it anyway because it's, um, you know, just give us a good flavour of what gel are offering in the UK. And they're pretty, you know, they're fairly new in the UK and Ireland, yeah. So, um, what were we thinking, Dan? I mean, you were fairly taken with it, surprisingly. Just straight away, the build quality, probably by surprise, is really, you know, right up there with the top players. So, then, chaps, the big question if you had to pick one, what's your, what's your favourite? What's your standout of this week? I'll tell you what, start between these three, not this one. Alright, okay. Well, then, if I had to take one, I'd take the blame. Blue. Yeah. Large so some, some this is, it's, it's feature like it's a key feature. Yeah. Okay. For me, the, the JCB. The, the Blaney is a good machine, but it's just. Hang on, he's Irish. <laughs> you're, you're English. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> just its performance, it's, although it does feel at times a bit sluggish on the transmission, it, the way it's hydraulic just handle a bit better than the Blaney, yeah. I think, just sets that apart from, from the rest. And then the girl, then, I'd say it's probably been the surprise of the week. Since none of us had seen it before or touched it before. So, uh, like I said, the build quality. If I, if I was spending my own money from my own machine, I'd take home the There you go. For the full report, go to uh, fginside.com.